guys, Gary on your screen here. One of my favorite genres is a supernatural thriller. Ever since The Sixth Sense came out, and for the first few years after its release, the theaters were just flooded with similar films. Dragonfly is one of them, starring Kevin Costner. Though, not to downgrade its genre, but this is more of a supernatural drama. It's about a doctor who loses his wife who was killed in a disaster during a humanitarian mission. The film now is about 20 years old, so if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry, this review is going to have some minor spoilers. And looking back on Costner films, I don't think I've ever watched a really bad one. He is far from my favorite actor, but there are a couple of genres I don't care for that he's been involved in for years. His westerns and his baseball films. I'm pretty selective with sports films. I've seen my fair share and find that they're always pretty much the same. And westerns. I've seen a couple John Wayne films, most if not all Clint Eastwood films. And again, with westerns, other than the selective few, they bore me. But I always keep a lookout for the ones that may interest me. But with Costner's films, whether it's baseball or westerns, the genres are kind of sidelined. They're not really emphasized so much. It's more about the story and the character. And that's what seems different about Dragonfly compared to supernatural films it's influenced by. It's got very minor jump scares, but it's not a cat. The scare is actually the thing it's supposed to be, and it's reaching out to Costner's character, Joe. This is also one of those decent films that don't necessarily need an antagonist, or a scary demon, or an entity. Joe's cynicism is the antagonist. The film can be predictable. You have characters holding Joe back, telling him these things Joe's seeing are just manifestations, and his mind is playing tricks on him because he wasn't getting closure. It's weird. I also find that films like these with the PG-13 rating make my spine tingle a lot more and my hairs straighten on my back of the neck than your average supernatural horror flick and try to scare you much like the same way with jump scares, but, but they take a step further in revealing way too much. Finally, the ending, which I won't give totally away if you haven't seen it. When the film was released many years ago, it might have been the overwhelming ending of The Sixth Sense, but this, this ending to Dragonfly got a lot of negativity, which I don't understand, and I love the film. I love the ending. It was different from your usual endings of genres. It was a feel-good moment and inspirational at the same time. This didn't have to be filled with ghouls, ghosts, and monsters. It was a good and small story, and it, but, and it wasn't perfect. I'd say it's recommendable. Give it a watch. Thanks for watching, and please share. If you agree or disagree, put a comment down below me.